Welcome again to another day. We've been looking at getting it right. Um, one of the weaknesses that we have as human beings is we hate change. We hate change. Once we do something and it's successful, we just want to continue doing it the way we did it. Um, it's called our comfort zone. We are comfortable. And so we don't want anything to change. Um, and, but, but, the, but comfortable is the, uh, is the enemy of, of progress. Because once you are comfortable, there's no incentive to do anything or to move forward. And I think that's where many of us are right now. Um, well, some of us. Um, we just want to remain in that area where things have been working. We know things could be better, but ah, we, can I really afford to change? At least this one I know, this one is working. I don't want to get into any trouble. I don't want to take any risks. Let me just do that which one, the one I am familiar with. The enemy of progress is comfort. I'm comfortable. How do you think they invented the air conditioner? Because people were not comfortable being hot. How do you think they invented the heating system? It's because people were freezing to death. Sometimes I, I usually, we usually joke that maybe one of the reasons why people are so laid back in Africa is because you don't have snow. If maybe if we had snow, we would have, we would, we would not be where we are. If people are freezing to death, we would have made some, but we are comfortable. Uh, um, or we don't have natural disasters the way it happens in other places. The people who have earthquakes every day, they know how to construct buildings um, that will stand in the time of, 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 of an earthquake. So, where you are, for you to be able to move forward and make progress, there must be a level of discomfort that will make you want to improve yourself. But in improving yourself, you have to get it right. Because if you do not follow the directions of God, if you do not go the path he has charted for you to go, there will be a problem. I don't know how I got into all of that anyway. Because what I really wanted to talk to you about today comes from um, 2 Samuel chapter 5. Verse 17, the Philistines heard that David had been anointed king. And so they said, we can't have this. They, 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 they decided to go out to battle with David. Verse 18, now the Philistines came and spread out in the valley of Rephaim. So David inquired of the Lord. Remember yesterday we said David inquired of the Lord. Here is David, a battle general. The Philistines are in the valley. They came against him. What did he do? He asked God. He said, should I go up? Will you deliver them? God said, go. I will deliver them into your hand. So he went and God gave him victory. Now I want you to listen attentively. Verse 22. Again, the same Philistines, they came out and they spread out in the same valley of Rephaim. So David asked the, God, the Lord again. Should I go out and this time, the same valley, the same people, in, the same parties in the bar, uh, battle, the Philistines and David, the same valley? God said to David this time, he said, don't go out the way you went the last time. He said, do not march straight up like you did, but circle around them, behind them, and attack them in front of the balsam trees. And don't attack them until you have heard the sound of marching in the tops of the balsam trees. Because when you hear that sound, know that I have given them over to you. Do you know that if David had not asked God, and God had not given him that battle strategy, different from the first one he, 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 he used, do you know that he would have lost that battle? The same enemy, the same valley, the same um, David, nothing changed, but the strategy changed. Please always ask God. 
Always ask God. Always ask God, please. And I'm also saying it to myself. Always ask God. Because yesterday's strategy for the same situation might not be the one you need to use today. And maybe that's why you find yourself in all that you find yourself currently in. Because you've been using the same strategy over and over. It's, it's worked before. So you think it, it must work now. It's worked several times. So you think it must work now. It's time to ask God. Always ask him. Because the battles may all appear to be the same. But the God who knows everything knows that there's something that has changed. You need to ask him. And as we begin to go to God, asking him for the strategy for our lives, we will only get better and better as we go from victory to victory. You are positioned for victory. I know you've missed it several times, but go back and ask God. Let's start on a totally new footing, and I can guarantee you that you will have reason to rejoice. Again, bringing you that good news, that hope feel for today. It's Fumi Obilano on Reflections.